Here we go against Yardbird. Yeah, he doesn't have the best of ratings at the moment, which is quite similar to my situation. So I'm on minus four. Yeah, the last two games I lost pretty miserably. So I hope for improvement here. Playing it in a in a simple way here. I just want I just want a simple position. not very ambitious what I'm doing but um, still keep it simple is not a bad idea so what is this if I take knight to e4 yeah okay let's let's keep things and ask him what he's doing I cannot go um, a3 here, that it would be just too weakening. b3 especially would be weakened. Maybe I can play this. Yeah, I don't like, uh, I don't know if I want to go a3. Yeah, let's do this. I mean, now I'm having b3 protected and e5, knight f5, that, that cannot be good. Well, maybe he can do that even. It's, it looks a bit strange to get the knight to f5, but okay, he plays in a, in a, plays in a more far more solid way so let's take yeah okay so I was thinking this maybe for e4 <clears throat> maybe this is too ambitious But I'd like to blunt this bishop there. Uh, I wait and maybe had no, no. B4 knight a4 is attacking the bishop. I was thinking B4 knight moves bishop takes a6, but okay, knight a4 is attacking my bishop, so it's not that wasn't on. But maybe still B4 knight a4 bishop e1 that would have been interesting. But bishop e4. Yeah, okay, maybe f3 wasn't that bad. At least it was quick. I've got quite a bit of a time advantage here. Well, it's not so easy for him. Those pawns there, okay, he decided to allow me this. Um, okay, yeah, I, I go there. But it gives him this b3 counterplay. So still e4. Uh, no, e4 he might just take, actually. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, like knight e4, f4, bishop e4, and then I'm double attacked. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, maybe get out of knight a4 stuff, possibly bishop h4. e4, I have knight d4, and then f4. That should be okay. Yeah, Check. let's take. And now e4, I can play. There is no 
no tactic, at least no tactic that I see. He very often, <laughs> of course, finds tactics that I did not see before. Beforehand. Mm. Okay, maybe bishop h4, but then rook d2. Hmm. That's annoying, this bishop there. Uh, rook d2. Hmm. Queen c1, queen e3 is my idea. It's, um, it's not easy, this position, for both of us to play. Not easy. Um, he, he has active pieces, but it's not, a, not entirely clear how he, how he um, coordinates them well. Mm, yeah, that was interesting. I saw that idea. If it takes king g7, it's a bit a bit problematic. So I'm going back. Knight would have been basically trapped there on h6. Okay, so bishop d2, or is this stupid? I would like to put it to e3, on e3, maybe here. Look at this, bishop e3, knight d2. This is, this is a good setup, actually. Coordinating my pieces finally. Knight d2 is asking the bishop as well where it is going to go. Uh, that's, that's active, but quite weakening. I can go here, right? Oh no, oh no, I'm on C1 there, wow. I didn't, I had a total hallucination there. Oh wow, okay. Uh, that was that, that was then quite unintended. Poo. Bishop G four maybe coming. Isn't there something here? I don't believe it here. Cheeking here. How is this going to hold for him? Time warning. Bishop g4. Cheeks there and check. No, and queen c4 for queen f7. That might be good. And rook c6. His king should be more of a problem than mine. So, okay. Queen c6. Rook d6. Check. Queen d7. Maybe this thing. Checks on the seventh. Ah, he has a counter check. Big counter check. 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 <sighs> Check. I don't see 
Check. No, no, I'm not, no, don't tell me I'm losing this Checkmate. game. This is a shame. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. Yeah, come on. I should really win one of those uh, ones in a while. If he give, he, he was completely, completely overstretching there. And I, I certainly had a win with his king being so exposed, but I, I did not find it. I even had more time on the clock. So how, how do I win? This, this, this is right. This is, rook c6 is winning. Yeah, okay. I played, I played queen c6. Yeah, rook c6. Check. How am I winning? Queen d5 and over. Yeah, it's so easy. It's so easy. And I have more time even. Ah. The thing what what annoys me sometimes against uh, against uh, Yardbird here, it, I mean annoys the wrong word, but he plays for a win in every position, even in positions where it's totally unwarranted. Yeah, he just should just sometimes take a draw and be glad with it, and he plays, yeah, like um, yeah, like only there's just just one way, one way to play always forward, which is attractive sometimes to watch, but it's just it, totally unobjective. It's just bad chess sometimes. And you should punish it. Yeah, this this is something that I must punish, and I don't uh, I don't Check. see those those childlike wins there. Yeah, okay. The problem was I thought here, and I didn't see that this is a counter counter uh, mate threat. White is still winning here, but Check. it is more more difficult. And here there's certainly Check. Some, some kind of some kind of thing. Yeah, by now I was down on the clock. This is also just a very good end game. He cannot defend his pawns. Yeah, I really hate to lose against such unobjective play. It's just, just he should just uh, be glad with an equal position and uh, and not kill himself. And if he kills himself, you have to pick up those pieces. And uh, here it was very easily uh, doable. I'll say even more. No, yeah, this was okay. I just have to check him on the six rank. Check. And uh, here, this is this is easy. Check. Yeah, amazing that this is a draw, but he has this counter idea. Here, queen b8 was even stronger attacking this rook. Check. Check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he just... Just, he just gets hunted down. He, he weakened himself voluntarily here with f5 and, and stuff like that. Uh, okay, well, thanks for watching.